energy veil is being held up by the Republicans' love affair with the industry we call big oil. They made $250 billion the last year. We still subsidize them. They're not subject to the antitrust laws. There's no anti-gouging. There's no windfall profits tax involved with them. We can't do anything about the way people are speculating on oil. That is, uh, they have, their margins are so low. The Republicans have a love affair with oil. And we have to understand that we have for too long taken the carbon out of the ground and put it in the atmosphere. It is warming our Earth. It's caused our Earth to get sick with a fever. And we need to get off of this mad dash we have to use all the oil we can. We can't produce our way out of the problems we have. America only has 3% of the oil in the world. And we can't produce our way out of the problems that we have. And the sooner we realize this and move to alternative energy, the sun, the wind, geothermal, the sun's shining every day, the wind's blowing every day, steam's coming out of the earth every day, and every day that happens that we don't harness that energy is a wasted day for us. We certainly need unemployment extension for these people who are out of work. This, if we don't, this would be the only time in the history of the country when there's been a significant recession, a downturn, that we haven't helped these folks. I know in Nevada it's important we help them. All over the country, it just is so unfair not to reach out and help these people. You want to stimulate the economy? This money will stimulate the economy. It'll be spent immediately. Yeah, we're going to continue to fight that. I don't understand why the Republicans would stop this. The reason that I've been given that makes more sense than anything else is President Bush hates Social Security. He hates Medicare. He doesn't like government programs. And he believes if we don't do the doctor's fix, that more doctors will drop out of the Medicare program. And as a result of that, more people will go to private insurance. And that gets him where he wants to be, that is, get rid of Medicare. It would be such a shame. Consider this from Senator McCain. Consider that we don't care, as he does, I think for argument purposes, when our troops come home. He doesn't care. But for argument purposes, what about the money part of this? It's costing us $5,000 a second for this war. Shouldn't we be bringing our troops home to save the American people from borrowing more money? If for no other reason, we need to do that. I called Vicki yesterday. She hasn't returned the call. Uh, but everything I get back from Senator Kennedy is he's going to be okay. Surgery went well. He's going to start his chemo. I don't know if he started yet. I think that perhaps might be one reason I haven't heard back from Vicki. But uh, she's always been good in responding to phone calls. I'm sure that she's busy doing other things or may not have, may simply not have picked up her messages. But uh, we're confident and very hopeful that Ted will be back soon.